So it's me, your boy, K. Samson. Your enemies are frustrated, devastated, hurt, intimidated. Why? Because God himself has said it. I will fight for you and you will hold your peace. He said to Moses, he said to them, let my people go. Listen, <laughs> they are not happy because God has already made a decree upon your life. Let my people go. And they are not happy because the moment God said this word, <laughs> everything about you become exploited. <laughs> Your business is pumping. Why? Because God has already made a word upon your head. Let my people go. And that is why your enemies are frustrated, intimidated, hurt, devastated. Why? Because they can't hold the word of God. They can't stop what God has already said upon you. He said, upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and the house of Jacob shall possess the possession. So, my brothers and sisters, your enemies are frustrated. Why? Because the word, the Lord whom you serve, the God of Israel, have already made a decree. Lose him and let him go. <laughs> Lose him and let him go. Many of them are frustrated because they can't just understand the reason why God ordered them to lose you and let you go. <laughs> they think you will be in that pain forever. <laughs> they think you will be in that what, in that struggle forever. They were thinking and, and hoping that no one will come to rescue you. They will never believe that there is so there is a mighty man who stands upon the what upon the throne and watches every man like a bear. <laughs> He said, lose him and let you go. Uh, uh, Mess up that. I said, no, no, we're not going to lose him. So, <coughs> so, listen, your enemies are in problem. They are in problem because that which they used to keep you in one particular spot, that is the same thing that God now is using to keep them in one particular spot. Yes, because what they did to destroy you, God have already ordered them to lose you and let you go. And that the same thing is holding them down. <laughs> because the truth is this, no, no one they will use that thing to hold down again. Because as long as they made it for you, they have been rejoicing, celebrating, no one will do it. We come to rescue you. No one will come to set you free. No one will come for your rescue. Not knowing that there is a mighty man in battle who is there watching everything that they are doing to you. Many of them have been thinking that uh, uh, you will always be there in their captivity. You will, everything that they did, you will always be there. Even if they do what they, they try to destroy you, do all sorts of things, no one will come to rescue you. But the father said, lose him and let him go. That is my son with whom I am well, what well pleased. So lose him. Lose him and let him, and let him go. And many of them we are approving us are uh, adamant. <laughs> they think it is a joke. He said, lose him and let him go. Lose him and let him go. And now they are frustrated because they are the one that is going to be in that bondage. They will be the one that is going to occupy that position. That opposition that they kept you so long. That opposition that they do, that they keep you. They will be the one that will occupy that position right now. That is why they are what they are frustrated. That is why they are humiliated. Because what they used to keep you down. It's about to hold them down. What they used to do, what, try, what they have been using, trying to break you, is about to break them. So, brothers and sisters, your enemies are in trouble. <laughs> the master said, lose him and let him go. All of that said, eh, we, we, are, we, are, we are not happy. Eh? Why will you lose him and let him go? Eh? Why will you do this, man? Eh? Why will you do this? Eh? We, we, we never believe that he has someone like you that can come and uh, rescue him. Eh? Eh? He has been here for so long. Why will you say so? Uh, allow us to use him the way. No, he said, lose him and let him go. So my brothers and sisters, your enemies are frustrated. 
because they can't get you anymore. Your enemies are frustrated because they can't stop God from blessing you. Your enemies are frustrated because everything that they did to destroy you end up destroying them. Everything that they did to break you end up breaking them. Everything that they do to frustrate you end up frustrating them. That's why the Bible say, right from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffer violence and only the violent men take it by force. God is now taking it as his own case. <laughs> Many of them have been celebrating, you know, jubilating. Uh, we have captured them. We will do him, we treat him. We make sure we distort everything that concerns him. Yes, we know that you are called for greatness. Yes, we know that you are called for uniqueness. Then that we, we truly know that you are the son of God. But we are going to deal with you and no one is going to say nothing. But the father said no. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Lose him and let him go. <laughs> Many people are what are mad because what they did to destroy you, God now turn it against them. What they did to humiliate you, the evil that they plotted against you, the evil that they have used to do or to keep you in one particular place, the evil that they have been using to destroy everything about you. When blessing is about to come, they use it to manipulate it. When success is about to reign, they use it to delay it. When miracle is about to happen, they use it to do or to stop it. But the master said, enough is enough. Lose him and let him go. Lose him and let him go. <laughs> no wonder the book of Exodus 14, 14 said the word. He said, I will fight for you and you will hold your peace. <laughs> A lot of people is about to hold peace. <laughs> Join with me and let's celebrate the master for he have done it again. Join me. Let's celebrate the father. He said, lose him and let him go. And many of your your what your enemies, many of them, your haters, many of them who 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 left you before because of where you do used to be, many of them are going to cry or cry. <laughs> Can you give us a chocolate chance to, re, to 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 recommend? You know? Can you give us the second chance to amend amend our ways? You know? You, you remember that first time that we do used to eat? We we do used to go back. We do used to eat cake and butter. Do you remember that time we do used to eat cake? Anytime we come and people will be jealous of us. Please, let's continue like that. Yes, we have done mistake. You know, mistake is, it, it can be, it can be, can occur at any time. You know, we have offended you. Now we have realized our mistake because there's something that is about to be delivered. <laughs> So my brothers and sisters, <laughs> your enemies are in trouble because that particular thing that they used to keep you in one place that they are be using to celebrate, jubilate, rejoice, that is what God is about to use to keep them in one place. Remember blessed and don't forget to subscribe to your boy Kisamsen. May God bless you in Jesus name. Amen.